so it's the morning of day four, literally right at first light. I had a deer over here blowing. I never even saw it coming, so I don't know if it smelled me or what, but immediate right at first light. JR's back down that way, down by a creek. We're on that same piece of public, but we got some, act. we got access from a landowner to park next to his driveway by the road. And I'm only, I don't know, maybe not even 100 yards in. And we came down in here yesterday to do a little bit of scouting and there was just sign all over the place. There's a couple of tree stands way down there by the creek. So far there's a ton of squirrels in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and uh, sit here and wait. We are so close to, to houses and stuff. I heard the school bus come by this morning. Uh, and I just heard a dog barking over there. This is all. like urban hunting we're so close to people this piece of public comes out and then there's houses and stuff around it and there's like a field over here it's evening number four i met a couple guys out in the parking lot um they were showing me kind of where they were going everybody's just kind of trying to stay out of each other's way but i kind of figured you know it they were they were coming in so it was time to I was already packed up and ready to go so I was waiting for people to show up and then I was just gonna run back here so I get my spot again not really my spot but um, so last night JR had a doe come underneath of him he says that it spotted his sticks and then like an idiot I freaking was lowering my bow right and as soon as it hit the ground I reached up to grab my hero clip and there's two freaking deer standing right there. So I reel my bow back up real quick and then they're behind this bush you know, so I couldn't get a shot. So I've waited three whole days for that exact opportunity and I'm pretty sure the camera was off. They just walked on by. Um, so I went hunting with JR this morning. We found this little corner, this little square of a piece of this property that was way up by some residential. So we, we drove up there to see if we could get access like there was parking access and the guy that lives right across the street from it happened to be standing there in his driveway so jr asked him if we can go over there or it says you know just let them know what, what's going on and uh like without even asking right he said, well i guess you can just like park right here just stay off the road so we went back in there this morning we had a doe blow at us very first light um, it was kind of off in that direction and he was kind of down that way I don't know if it was because of the way we smelled, because we didn't get up and shower, or what it was. But. So it's evening number four, right? Rule is, don't move till it's pitch black, right? That's what we're doing. Oh yeah, I forgot, but I remember why it better be in here too. All right, it is. So this must be why I haven't shot a deer yet. So I completely had forgot that my daughter and I made this made this little bracelet she said it was for hunting so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that on that's gonna be our good luck bracelet so there we go we're ready now all right we should be able to get a doe tonight with a good luck bracelet and remember don't move till it's pitch black and keep your bow in the tree <laughs> i'll be back under me again it's almost pretty much coming to becoming a daily thing i mean i don't really mind it i kind of just talk to him on the way by and see what he sees back there and it kind of keeps me from having to go back there and hunt right so and i still manage to see the doe out here every single night so this tonight we're gonna sit here patiently all the way till dark and hope something walks by 
there was another guy that looked like he was walking down too, but he had a red shirt on, so I don't know where he went. I don't know if he turned around and went back, or look, maybe he dipped off. I have no idea. I lost track of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs>